metric standard reporting. First one we'll look at is our dashboard. And as you notice, you can uh, adjust the pane left or right any way you want. You can turn it off if you'd like. One more click turns it on. If, if you look at OEE, the components of OE, the last state, uh, we give you a production summary, an uptime summary, fault summary, and, and include a few quick charts, including a top 10 or an event count slash duration report. The next report that most people look at would be our machine state report. This report allows you to compare several machines against each other. You can see if there's interaction in between them. There, there may or may not be. And at any time, you can, you can notice that we have a, the ability to show you all the detail. Uh, the next report is probably our number one report, and we call an event top 10. In this situation, I only have four events, so if you had 400 events, it would show you the top 10, and that is selectable. The first chart is event duration and count, so the bar is time, and the line is the count. And then below it, we break out and show the difference between the frequency, the count, and the event duration. So our number one event count uh, is oil failure. Our number one event in terms of duration is tank low. And at any point, we include all the detail. These reports also include drill through. So you click on tank low, and because we know there was only one event, when we click on the bar, we'll see the actual event time of bar. We know it happened at 2. And this is the exact time, duration, and as well you can go look at the event detail and it'll show you the start, end time, and duration. All standard. The next report we'll look at is our production overview report. And this is the one that, that most people really kind of gravitate toward. We've got these columns right here that are selectable by the user and then you've got all this fixed detail including OE, good parts, ideal parts. So one of the things I want to take the option to show is let's say that you look at this report you see that it's by uh, hour and you say you know I really needed that by shift so you simply go over here and select shift start save it, view report and when it regenerates you'll notice that now where we had our it now shows uh, shift and that could be many shifts